Okay, we're going live now. I'm here with Candy Johnson, and um, we just want to discuss uh, some some things about uh, uh, we just say the uh, theism dif difficulty. Oh yeah, theism or difficulty in 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 churches sometimes that people face. Yeah, theism and or atheism is, is okay, too. Okay. So, are you familiar with uh, the Calvinism that they, that they sometimes push? I am not uh, familiar at all with Calvinism other than I heard that they had some very um, strict criteria of, of uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, a doctrine that uh, you have to meet these certain goals, so to speak, uh, and, um, you know, to achieve some level of righteousness, you know, so that, that's about as far as uh, my knowledge of Calvinism is. Yeah, because there's two extremes opposite extremes there's arminium which is works which you have to work do works to get your salvation and then there's uh calvinism which is the opposite extreme that says you can't do anything to get your salvation and that either you're chosen or you're not chosen and there's nothing you can do about it wow basically yeah except maybe pray <laughs> Wow. But, and it's it's a little bit uh, off from my understanding that they say that the unbelievers that never come to God are not covered by the blood of Jesus. So, uh, you know, I don't know how unbelievers are living if they're not covered, but that's what they believe. Um, it, well, I would have to uh, really understand what they mean by not covered. Uh, a good example of that is um, uh, I could have, uh, for example, I could have insurance on uh, everyone in my vehicle. Okay, but if I um, if I'm at fault uh, for a, 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 a car accident, then uh, not uh, not only am I not covered, but nobody's covered. You know, um, so um, um, yeah, um, I guess it'd be kind of be like that and what i guess what they're saying is that only the people that get injured in a car accident from if it's not their fault are the ones that covered and the ones uh, this is bad i don't know if it's a bad illustration the ones that aren't injured <laughs> aren't covered or something like that i don't know okay well if if um if, if unbelief is considered the injury, right? Um, well, either way, they have to be covered. The elect, the elect has to be covered because he's a sinner, and the non-elect has to be covered because he can't pay for his sin, and somebody has to pay for it. Right. Um. So what they basically say, end up saying, they say the unbeliever, the non-elect, has to pay for his own sin. But that's that's amounts to heresy because the unbeliever can't pay for any part of his sin. Uh, Nothing, no amount of hell is ever going to pay for any part of his sin. It's, you know, and it's, so there's still sin left over that's not paid for if Jesus didn't pay for everyone's sin. Uh, yeah, it 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 it, uh, it sounds distorted to begin with, because um, 
there is nowhere in the Bible uh, that uh, they could uh, conjure up these, this belief system because um, supposedly when Jesus uh, uh, died, um, he died for everyone, okay? And he said before he died uh, that he was, uh, he came for the Jews as well as the Gentiles, uh, which would include everyone, all right? Uh, so if they are believing that, who are they believing that are the elect, the Jews? The, the Christians, basically, the people that do believe in Jesus are the elect, and the people that don't are not the elect. But how do you come to believe in Jesus? They say that you have to be drawn by the Spirit of God, which is true. You have to be drawn by the Spirit of God, and it's God who does the work in you. But it's not true to say that the unbeliever's sin is not covered. Well, so, sin isn't covered if uh, um, if we if we're saying covered, and meaning that they're gonna escape punishment. Well, then no, their sin isn't covered. Uh, that means they still uh, they haven't accepted the atonement. It's just like uh, you. I can't give you a gift if you don't take it. Uh, so uh in that regard then they then they're they're absolutely right uh you can't be covered uh you can't accept the gift and not accept it at the same time right well see this is what what happens the the covering involves the sending of the holy spirit and then the holy spirit is either accepted or rejected by the person the person that is souls to the spirit is uh, sanctified. The one who souls to the flesh is is not, and he's uh, continually continually gets becomes more corrupt and is not sanctified. Right. So the uh, the payment for sin was to send the Holy Spirit, which we either accept or reject his leading. And that's that's what makes the difference between both people because both people are sent the Holy Spirit. The unbelievers are sent the Holy Spirit, and they're convicted of sin, righteousness, and judgment, but they they reject his conviction. And the uh, it's the only the believer that accepts it that is sanctified. And salvation is through sanctification by the Spirit and faith in the truth. So it's the truth that guides us all the way. Right. If we're not guided, if we're not guided by truth, then you're gonna fall. You know, fall out. You're not gonna be. You're not gonna be in inside the covenant, or you're not gonna be covered by the, okay. by the covenant. Uh, exactly. Uh but here's the thing uh, that I think uh, may be the biggest factor that's not being considered here. Um, the, the timing, okay? Um, God does things in his own time, all right? The Holy Spirit moves in his own timing. Uh, this is why uh, in the Bible there's a scripture that says that our ways are not God's ways. And as a matter of fact, it says that uh, his his thoughts, you know, the way that he thinks is, is far from, as from my, what the way we think as from the east is, is to the west. You know, they don't really ever meet up <laughs> uh, because um, we, we, we have a totally different way of thinking of things. God says uh, God's way is love your enemies because they the one needed the most <laughs> and i always say uh i for an eye two for two you know uh he hurt me i'm gonna hurt him back you know um so that that's what i, I believe the word uh the bible means by our ways is so different 
than what he wants. Um, and in, in, in that regard, uh, timing, our timing be so off. Uh, the word of God said that a word spoken in due season, how sweet it is, you know. Um, I, 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 was, I was married, my first marriage, I was married for nine years, okay. And uh, this is just an example of how our timing be so off and, and it, it, it causes a problem as opposed to actually helping, all right. Um, and we can throw scriptures at people and, you know, and try to make them come to God and say, oh, if they don't listen to me, they're rejecting God. No, <laughs> they're rejecting you or your approach, perhaps. But that does not mean that they're rejecting God. Plus, the Bible, uh, Jesus gave a parable and he said, one soweth, uh, uh, the seed. Uh, you say another one come along and want it. He say, but God give an increase, right? Right. So uh, I don't think a lot of Christians who are very zealous, and this is why Paul said that the zeal of God without knowledge is unprofitable, all right? It don't benefit nobody, all right? It don't help the kingdom. Uh, because we wind up going uh, attacking the unbelievers as opposed to wooing them. <laughs> um, I'll tell you, uh, right. uh, when I was uh, first married, I was young, I was dumb, and I had to learn how to be married, okay? And I had to learn, and I found out that I could say the same thing to my husband when he's already maybe uh, frustrated and disgruntled. And, and, or we arguing in the heat of an argument, I could say the same thing uh, that I say at a later date when I'm rubbing on his head, you know, and whispering sweet nothings in his ear and say, baby, I was just trying to tell you that. Sudden, 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 say, yeah, baby, you right. I, I was just upset at the moment. <laughs> All right? So it wasn't spoken in... Uh, where it could fall on good ground. It was nothing wrong with what I was saying. It was what was wrong was the timing. Okay. Uh, another thing that might have been wrong sometimes was the delivery. How I said it. Okay. Uh, uh, there's a big difference. You can't catch a uh, what they say. You catch honey with I mean bees with honey. <laughs> you know. Old school wisdom, you know. That's why the, the Bible says, he that winneth souls is wise. That, that, that means that uh, it don't make you wise uh, because you winning souls. It take wisdom to win them. <laughs> you understand? Uh, so um, uh, wisdom is knowledge guided by understanding so that means that we can have all the head knowledge in the world but if if we don't allow understanding the god uh, there's no wisdom in that all right there's no productivity in that all right and uh, and it doesn't it doesn't allow room for the truth to 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 do its job bible said that uh the truth and make you free, I like. Uh, and when you break it down in the Greek, it means the truth you know, the what the the truth you become familiar with, when the with the the truth you become intimate with, I like. Um, just like I was saying about uh, things I would say to my husband mm. when I was intimate with him, <laughs> you know, he was more to listen. That's <laughs> true. Uh, he was he was more willing <laughs> to see whatever I had to say, you know, or as so long as I, you know, handle him right. <laughs> and then he say, "Baby, whatever you say, I, I, I'm down with it." <laughs> uh, and 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 that's uh, just a comical way, but realistically. Uh, to uh, describe uh, how uh, we receive knowledge or we receive 
the wisdom of God, all right? And we receive truth, okay, and the effects of it. Because when, once we can get truth in you, all right, what happens then? We are liberated, all right? We are liberated from what? <laughs> we are liberated from the bondage of not knowing. There is, a, what, the, what the scriptures say, people perish for the lack of knowledge. Don't mean you didn't have no knowledge. Just means you didn't have enough, all right, to set you free. Um, so uh, I said all that to say that understanding what we're dealing with uh, is so important. Uh, is one of the most valuable ingredients uh, when we really wanting to embark upon uh, reaching people, okay? Now, we can play self-righteous all day long and never reach nobody if that's our uh, purpose and intent. We ain't going to never reach nobody, all right? Uh, we can do that all day long and, and nothing plus nothing equal nothing, you know? But when we really are, uh, concerned about uh, souls and loving uh, someone enough to say, uh, I found out something good. This is good. I'm telling you, this is the hook up. You know, let me tell you about this God. He's a wonderful, you know. Uh, something about that is very wooing, <laughs> you know. It's say, like, what you say now? Uh, it makes people pay attention where you don't have right. to. You it know. makes a big difference when people are, are happy, joyful. It makes a big difference, you know, presentation. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, and it's, it's not always about, you know, being nice and sweet and kind, but uh, it is about having wisdom and understanding, you know, get on people level. Still, you know, some people act like they ain't never been a sinner before, like they ain't never sinned uh, uh, recently, you know. Uh, and when people can relate to you, uh, it's easier for them to understand you. You know what I mean? Um, if you are, if say for example, a person is a drug addict and you trying to tell them how to stay off of drugs and you ain't never touched drugs a day in your life, they're not trying to really hear nothing you got to say because you can't relate. This is why they use ex, ex drug users or recovered, recovered addicts uh, in counseling, uh, arenas for, for, for people uh, that, that are, are dealing with that. You understand? Yeah, because uh, they they know what it what it's like and they they understand what the issues are and they have a concern, which people that were never on drugs don't really have that concern for the person to to help them. Yes, that concern is so important. Um, when people know you love them and or you care uh, that you have uh, compassion or uh, uh, have compassion uh, understanding um, mm, what would the scriptures say that Jesus the Bible say he was moved ah yeah what the fuck say he was moved uh, it say he, he was moved by our infirmities. You know, those are our hidden weaknesses. What he was able to uh, relate is say, wow, now I see what y'all going through, pussy. <laughs> he say, now I see what y'all going through down here. You know, um, wow, the wickedness of this world is overwhelming. Uh, I come to bring you some help. <laughs> Uh, that's why he left the comforter for us. This ain't uh, I'm going to leave the comforter for you, uh, for your backup. <laughs> it's like, because I understand how you feel, all right? It was and, uh, the, comforter, the comforter is the only link that we have to God. There is no <laughs> other link. It's through the comforter, which was sent through the blood of Jesus, yes. which, which we have. He's so wonderful. He's so wonderful. I, it, boy, he's so, that's my sweetie pie, I'll tell you. Um, I call him Huggable Love. He's so sweet to me. And um, let me tell you, baby, uh, when I met God, when I was saying about timing, how important it is, 
I had religion shoved down my throat all my life. And um, when I got older of age to make my own decisions, I said, uh, I'm just going to be a good person. I'm not too interested in, in the religion, you know. Uh, and I was 18 years old, uh, and, uh, and I was in my house, and um, I was asleep in my bed. I wasn't bothering nobody. Nobody was bothering me about religion. And uh, I had an uh, encounter uh, with the, in the spirit. And uh, spirits came and they were trying to attack me and stuff like that. And uh, the Holy Spirit spoke to my mind saying, uh, the only only thing going to help you in this situation is you need more love. And I began to cry out to God, come in and love, Lord. And put love well out in me. Yeah, I know who the eyes are. You know, I didn't know what I was saying, you know, but the Holy Spirit did it, you know. He knew. And so he said, ask him for love. You know, you know the Holy Spirit, he's so sweet. He said, ask him for love. That's what you need. <laughs> I said, Lord, fill me with your love. Let it overflow, Lord. You know, he touched me well down. You know, and uh, he did just that, man. I get excited talking about it. I get it so excited because uh, you know it was it's such an awesome experience uh, for me that um here years later I think that was, uh, back way back in uh, 91 that I had my first encounter I began to speak in with the evidence of speaking in tongues I was in my bed and I was I thought it's speaking in tongues you know and, and my mama come in the room where I was so she was living with me. And she said, oh, thank you, Lord, thank you. Because she said, her prayers have been answered. God filled me with the spirit, you know. And she didn't bother me. She didn't bother me about, oh, get saved, get saved, get saved, you know. Uh, she let me be. And uh, God. Yeah, without love, without love, you don't have anything. Right? Right? Not to be you got to have the love of God. It's able to uh break up the fallow ground yeah when you when you got the when you got the love of god it's like rain all right it, it come in and break up the fallow ground bible say break up the fallow ground all right uh because if you don't break up the fallow ground you cannot get no seed in there right if you plant it no. uh you got to break up the ground okay uh, when people trying to shove scriptures on people, what they're doing in the spirit realm, so to speak, is trying to force a seed in a ground that have not been broken up. That makes no sense at all. It makes no sense. Uh, the, the flesh, the Bible said the flesh cannot perceive the things of the spirit. That means, and perception is when you take something in. Ah, it's an intimacy. So that means you can't take nothing in if it's closed up. Mm -hmm. You can't take nothing in. That's a violation when you force something in that it don't fit. All right, that's a violation. All right. That's, that's true. Mm -hmm. That's one of the biggest problems is in communicating is not being able to present it correctly to uh -huh. people so that they can receive it and accept it. Uh huh. Well, we uh, I think what because uh, I used to be like this when I uh, uh, first accepted my call in the ministry and I was so zealous I wanted to do everything right and I had been taught uh, very self righteous uh, type of. Uh, doctrine and you know things have to be certain ways and stuff like that or else you are less than and it was something that I could never uh, it seemed like every time I felt like I had things just right you know uh, God would do, do one of these numbers and poke me and push me clean off my high horse you know it push me off my horse every time i climb up there and i'm getting i'm saddled up and i'm ready to ride my high horse god would do one of these numbers and push me out for it you know um, yeah. because he doesn't want us to uh look down upon one another the bible said the grace of god is what enables us to understand that yes it happens 
not been for grace, all right, unmerited favor, for all of us, we would all be lost, all right? So when we get a full understanding of grace, then we know there's no way uh, we can possibly think we're good enough or we are so much better than, you know, well, the, the Spirit gives gifts to each one in order to make everybody equal so uh -huh. that nobody can say that they're above or better than anybody else and nobody can say anybody's below anybody else. Right. Every, the Holy Spirit gives gifts according to as he chooses to make everyone equal, and that's in the Bible. The Bible actually says that. It is for the edifying of the body. That makes us all look good, you know? Right, mm -hmm. right, for the edification of the body, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I, I, I want so badly for a lot of the people that I see here online that's, that's uh, uh, professing uh, their belief in God to get an understanding of uh, we got the we got to get more love and, 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 and be more focused on praying to get our self right, you know, uh, because once we get the body right, okay, uh, everything else will fall in line because what will happen is when, when the unbelievers see us operating in love in a war, okay, they'll want to be a part of that because... Yeah. They see how beautiful and the communion of the fellowship, you know, and say, I'm going to be in that game. They be attracted, attracted to it. Yeah. I want to be, be a part of that. <laughs> Tell me what my, like the centurion man said, well, what must I do to be saved? I want, I want part for that, you know. <laughs> uh, he say, I have power to call a man and he come, all right? And tell him to go and he go. He said, all you gotta do is say the word, <laughs> you know? And, and you know, when we when we are doing what, uh, what uh, God ordained for us, uh, we don't have to make people believe in the God in us. They will be convinced by their own measures. You understand? Yeah. Uh uh when i speak about god i don't try to convince people that god is real but what i do do is tell them about all the things god taught me because i was born mentally retarded again and the doctor said that i'm not supposed to be doing this and the doctor said that i wasn't supposed to be doing that all right um a lot of the things I've accomplished in life, I drove 18 wheelers course to course. I'm a class head driver, a uh, licensed commission officer. I shoot, I shoot 140 out of 150. Baby, I ain't gonna miss me. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. We didn't come down uh, to shoot, all right? And not, not to harm nobody. I'm just saying I, I'm a uh, mock person. So uh, what I'm saying is, is that all of these things that I've done, uh, I can show uh, how the aid of the Holy Spirit got me uh, those accomplishments, all right? Because uh, there's, no, there's no denying, okay, that I was born mentally retarded. I got papers. I got papers for that, all right? I got papers uh, where the scientist said, she, you're going to be like this for the rest of your life. All right, okay. We're right. gonna need to be on medication. I got papers where I I fought uh, court orders to be medicated. That means they're gonna force medication on me. All right, I got papers. I beat it. All right. So when uh, uh, when I'm dealing with an atheist, you got to deal with them on their terms, and and their term is they want evidence. Okay, no problem. Uh, my God is real, so certainly I can present you some real evidence. Uh, I play keyboard. I mean, you know, I don't know if you know if I'm a, that I'm a singer, all right? Uh, but I'm, uh, I, I play uh, keyboard as well. Uh, I don't know no keys, and I don't know no chords. Uh, 
but I rock the house, you understand? Good. I asked God to teach me how to do that, and he taught it, yeah? So these things are like evidence that uh, you may not, a person that's an atheist might not want to believe that a God exists, but they can't deny the evidence. <laughs> that something, something out of the ordinary happened, all right? Uh, I, I, I've owned several businesses. Uh, I wouldn't need the atheist to try to explain a way out of that, you know, uh, to try to uh, negate a God, okay? Who taught me these things? I fix washers, dryers, refrigerators. I got a, a video here online where I lift the refrigerator, big, large, side-by-side -side refrigerator, or in high heels, all right? So uh, I'm not bragging on candy, but I'll tell you, my daddy, okay? <laughs> he wonderful, okay? And I could tell some stories too, but I'd, I'd rather not. <laughs> Come with it, come with it. You know why? Because the Bible said we overcome. How do we overcome? By the words of our testimony. Uh, That's what the Bible said. So this is the why the, the Bible is broken up in testaments, okay? People call it scriptures, mm. but what they overlooking is it says testaments. It's testimonies and testaments, that's right. Yes, a telling of the goodness of God and and, and telling how uh, he uh, became real in your life. This is how uh, the atmosphere of belief is created. The more we talk about him, ah, and that's how we create an atmosphere for faith, all right? <laughs> People see and hear. They being nosy. They listening. They listening. Okay. Sometimes you'll have people uh, act mean, say ugly things. I don't want plenty of people to cry, baby. Don't let that fool you. Uh, I've seen them act ugly and talk crazy and all that kind of stuff. And all the while, they're watching me to see how I'm going to respond to it. And I still keep on loving them. And they say, man, I done done everything to that lady. I can't break her. <laughs> and see, and then so, um, you know, I, I get on them. One girl, I, I beat her up. I beat her down in the street. And I had her in a headlock. And uh, when I turned her loose, and I, I I went to doctor and on and made sure she was all right. <laughs> and so um, her and her mama, I told them, I said, and they were getting in the car to leave because they had come to my house to jump me, but I whooped them, right? <laughs> so they were all broken up and delivered to the car and stuff. And I said, I love y'all now. Y'all be careful. <laughs> it like that. And they say, they put it all say, you love us. <laughs> and so the mama said, yo, love us. Look what you just did to my child. And well, they was a grown woman, but she said, look what you did to my child. I said, well, I only defended myself. I had every right. You came to my house to whoop me. I was supposed to uh, fight back. You know, I defended myself. I said, but that don't have nothing to do with the fact that I love y'all. I don't wish y'all no harm other than I uh, just protecting myself. So the girl that I whooped, she was listening to her mama the only reason she came. So she called me back later. She said, she said, Candy, I'm so sorry. She said, I know you love me. She said, I know you love me. She said, I was wrong for that. Please forgive me. You the sweetest person I ever met in my life. And she said, I let my mama put me up to that. She said, but oh. I love you. And I know you love me, you know, <laughs> something like that. So that's why I'm saying, you know, when we just be consistent, okay? We will have to fight sometimes, but still be consistent in love. You understand? Uh, yeah. I didn't hate her uh, because I had to uh, defend myself. I was dead defending myself. And I separated the uh the actual act of having to fight her i separated that 
from the love of actually still caring about her. You understand? Right. And so yeah, I had I had the same thing happen to me. I had a bully follow me to my house, and I I led him to the alleyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And he never bothers me again. Mm -hmm. I never saw. I never saw him again mm. after that. But uh, I didn't. I didn't hit him or anything. I just. Uh, I held him until basically, you know, he, he wanted to run away, and so he ran away. Mm -hmm. Well, we gonna have to do that sometime, you know, to defend ourselves. Uh, but uh, the law of God is consistent. It don't change. He said, the Bible said, he changed not. All right? You don't mm. stop loving because of nothing. Because love is what it is. If it's love, it's love. That, that's simple. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't ever stop being black. <laughs> I am what I am, right? Mm. I, I could bleach my skin or whatever or to try to change my appearance. But uh, if I was uh, like the, had, they had a transgender, try to people try to change their gender, they may change their auto appearance, but they are not gonna ever change the fact that they were born whatever gender they was born as, right? Yeah, that's right. Because what a what a what a what a thing or a person is, that's what they are. And the same with the things of the spirit. If it's love, it don't change. If I'm saying he changed not, okay, it might take on different forms. Sometimes love got to be harsh, but it's still love, you know. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, God loves the atheist. That's a, that's the thing that people have to understand. You know, that's why you you have to be able to tell people. That God loves you, God died for you, He paid for your sins, and it's not a lie. And but the but the Calvinists would say that you don't know if that's true, but it is well, true. Know that God is oh. a lover, all right. And he loves his children, okay. And He said, "Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thou so prosper." Then He went on uh, before that. He said. Uh, he said, my thoughts to you are thoughts of peace and not evil to bring you to your expected end. I'm expecting right. for you to uh, walk upright. I'm expecting for you to walk in dominion. Uh, uh, I'm expecting for you to walk in love because that's what I created you to do. All right. So if you do anything other than those things that I, what I created you to do, I'm having a little disappointment, but uh, uh, I'm still excited. <laughs> you understand? Uh, so, uh, yeah, that, that's the way God is. Uh, it's, it's just like any other parent. Uh, my children, um, you know, my children doing stuff right now that I, I don't agree with. I didn't raise them to do, uh, and stuff like that. Uh, and I'm very disappointed in some things, and I'm, I'm very uh, proud of some things. Uh, but it don't change the uh, my love for them <laughs> as a mother. You understand? Mm -hmm. yep. if, if, if my children do something utterly despicable, uh, I will uh, turn their butts in to be sent to jail myself. But that ain't going to mean that I don't love them. You understand? Uh, so that's, uh, that's the difference. And so I don't know, a lot of these uh, religions, uh, this is why I don't like religion, uh, Jungle, is because it, it sets people up for failure, okay? Uh, even the people that think they're on the right side of whatever their uh, doctrinal beliefs are, they be so lost and empty, uh, they don't have no evidence. Yo, know, where your evidence that God live on the inside of you? To the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, where is your evidence? <laughs> you know, I want to see. I'm like the atheist when it come down to that. I want to see some evidence. All right, <laughs> if I don't see no love, you lacking evidence. <laughs> you know, <laughs> what the, fruit of the, the fruit of the spirit. That's love, right. Joy, peace. Patience, long suffering, 
So we need evidence, all right? Uh, another thing I noticed, no prayer, you know. How how people being, uh, uh, how are you gonna walk in the spirit without no communication in the spirit realm? I wanna know how you can do that, yeah? How you do it? You can't, so somebody is a liar, all right? And it ain't God. Because he said, walk in the spirit, so you're not fulfilled the lust of the flesh, all right? The desires of the flesh, all right? So how you can walk in the spirit, are you not, not communicating in the spirit, huh? Well, you know, you, you, uh, prayer is communication to, to God and in the spirit realm, all right? Talking to them and listening to, not just running your mouth. Well, when I pray, I start listening and see what with the Holy Spirit can lead me and guide me and tell me uh, different things. All right, and so he re Bible said he knew us in the word, in the spirit of the word. All right, so um, Bible said by the washing, huh? you could be washed. God to take your spiritual bath every day. All right, so how is it? How is it that we will? How it could be uh, walking in the spirit without no connection in the spirit? I don't understand how you do that. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is the only link that we have to God. Like you said, it's the washing of regeneration and renewing by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. He is our only, If it's the same thing as the Internet. It's the, the Holy Spirit is our only link that we have to God. There is no other connection that there is to God because the Holy Spirit was afforded to us by the blood of Jesus, mm -hmm. which, which sent the comforter, like we were saying before. Mm -hmm. Without without that, there is you have to walk in the spirit. That's the only way. Mm -hmm. Salvation is through sanctification, which is another thing that they get wrong. They just think, oh, we're saved, once saved, always saved, and and there's nothing we do. No, that's not right. Salvation is through sanctification by the spirit and faith in the truth, believing what is true. And it's a it's a work that God does in us by his true word is his word is true yeah we, 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 we become intimate with the word all right with the spirit of we become intimate with the spirit of truth all right uh, yeah. the intimate me allow him to come in all right uh, and that that's what guides us that's what guides us you yeah, make it the bold the bible says uh he dwells, all right, in the praises of his people. So if you don't make no room for him, where you going to live at? If you're not giving no God no praise, tell me where you going to live at. But I'm saying he abides in the praises of his people. Uh, so uh, we're not, we're, we're not, we're not giving, rendering no praise. Why are we not bring, building no houses for him? I tell him all the time, God, the praises reserved for you here. Uh, 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 come on in the room and make yourself comfortable. Because you're welcome here. All right. Your spirit of truth is welcome. Come on in and make your bowls. Hallelujah. That's what I'm talking about, too. Uh, yeah, I'll make it real comfortable. I'll put that Southern hospitality on it. <laughs> Yeah, you be welcome here. Yeah, the spirit of truth is welcome here. All right. Yeah, I'll let him know that. So you gotta let let somebody know they're welcome to come in your house, or they gonna stand outside your door. Yeah. He mm -hmm. said, "Oh, I stand at the door and I'm knocking." Yeah. He said, "I'm knocking." He ain't gonna come in unless you make him welcome. If the door, nobody go in someone else's house unless you're a thief. All right. Uh, unless you, you make them comfortable that they can come in. You see, come on in, huh? No. Yeah. Uh, and, and God is no different. The Holy Spirit is no different. Uh, but we don't make him welcome, all right? He's not coming in. That's simple. It's that simple. You uh, see? So if, uh, when we begin to uh, give praise and thanksgiving, Lord, I thank you for what you already done. You've been so good, you know. A wonderful Savior, a mighty deliverer, you know. Prince of 
Prince of Peace, uh, wonderful counselor, uh, comfort, uh, teacher, you know, and he all that. Amen. So he, uh, uh, he, he's a healer too. Yes, he is. Jehovah. Shama. He's a God our peace. Yeah? Nothing missing and nothing broken. All right. He got the goods. <laughs> he got the goods. And so I, I, I shoot. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tell you, I get excited talking about him. He's so awesome. Um, we get, you know, I know that people get excited uh, when Ken, uh, what's his name, Kid Holbein was coming back on the scene. Uh, people uh, was getting all excited about that. Oh, yeah, he could brutalize the atheist. And I said to myself, now, is it, it, it you know i believe in giving honor where honor is due because kick uh, uh whatever name kick over he he's very skilled that what he does and he's, he's very comical i like the way he does his uh the way he talks in his mannerism his character and stuff like that uh it is very commendable all right but he's not good he's not the king of kings uh He's not the Lord of Lords, huh? the God Almighty, huh? since the beginning from, he's not Alpha and Omega, huh? And, and so when we come, and when, when it comes down to giving God praise, all right, nothing wrong with, like I said, nothing wrong with giving him his props, okay, King Kova, Kova. nothing wrong with giving uh, any uh, true, uh, 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 a person of integrity or, or you know he's that honorable uh if i don't care if it's the president that if a person is due you know you're supposed to give them their due uh respect all right either your mother or father okay your grandparents everybody is is is, is, is deserving of their level of respect okay but when we keep talking about the creator Mm -hmm. right. Well, why is it people want to whisper? Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. And, you know, they got the half mass praise, you know. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's okay. They want to do quiet prayers and stuff like that. Huh? I know when we go to the uh, football game, we hide and screaming, painting our faces, we jumping around. I don't care what you do at a. Uh, 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 sports event is acceptable and people will cheer you on. Am I lying? That's right, especially, especially yeah. soccer games, soccer games too. What do they do? All kind of crazy stuff, don't they? Uh, if, if somebody scores a goal in soccer, everybody's jumping all over the place. All over the place. <laughs> and nobody looks at them. Now think about it. Nobody looks at them like, are you crazy? And why are you doing this? And you know, you, you, you can just be happy that we made it go. You, you just, you know, you're acting unsophisticated. <laughs> you know. As sophisticated as a um, uh, golf game is, you'll see people when they, uh, they yes, you know. <laughs> you know, they get excited. They might, you know, cool out and walk on, you know, and cry. But I'm telling you what, you're going to see them go, yes, you know, and they get excited, okay? So, um, what is it this uh, pious, uh, this is a trick of the enemy. It's a trick of the enemy to, to shut down the presence of God or, or, and, and man, make the presence of God ineffective in the body of Christ. That's what it is, attack on the, on the body, okay? Because if the body don't get no exercise, what's going to happen? The bone going to be able to gonna start to deteriorate. Yeah. Yeah. So this is why the, the body of believers are, are in such a, a, a you, you know. With, Miracles happen. Miracles happen when people, his people praise him. Yes. That's, that's when miracles happen. Yes. 
We got to create an atmosphere for to, for, for people to believe. All right. When we got to, we're going to testify, tell of His goodness. We're going to tell about what He done for us. How He brought us out of darkness. Do. Ah. Yep. That's when we create an atmosphere for the impossible. Ah. That's how He do it. That's how He move. Yeah, yeah, that's how he moved, and that's how the, the spirit of God come in and snatch those souls out of the very mouth of hell. All right, we can't do it by uh, doing strip beating people up with scripture. All right, <laughs> no. we can't do it. You we beating them into hell. All right, where we can use our praise, uh, uh, snatch them out. Yeah, that we pray to. All right, take a hold of them. Uh, uh, they snatch them out of the very mouth of hell. We got the law people enough to do that. We say, uh huh, I want you to go to hell because I said you were going to go, so I ain't going to do nothing it's going to take to get you, keep you from going because they want to be right. Huh? Self righteous. Well, but you can't be right without care, concern, and consideration. Mm -hmm. You know what? Uh, when, I, when, I, when I received the Holy Spirit of God, my family did not even rejoice, and they're all Christians, all right? Now, I'm not talking about my mom, but the rest of the family, you know, all right? Ah, uh, they say, yeah, she evil. She did, she did. The devil got her, you know, the devil. The devil this and the devil that, you know? Uh, no matter what good I did, I said, the devil, the devil, the devil. All right? But when God came in my room, when none didn't need none of their assistance. <laughs> right. Didn't need their assistance. <laughs> you know, uh, see, they wanted to get credit for saving me. Okay? So God do that. That's why he came when none of them was around. Okay? Nowhere around, miles away, 15, uh, 16,000 miles away, all right? So none of them could take the credit for it. Then he come on into my house and scoop me up, you know? <laughs> he came and scoop me up. And uh, so they was mad because what happened then was uh, all that they had uh, the evil that they had spoken on my life and said, you going to hell and the devil got you, and this and that, and that. So what happened? Now they got to eat it. <gasps> now they got to eat it, the pride. They got to eat it, all right? The ego, the self righteousness, they got to eat it. Huh? <laughs> so, then after 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 they uh after I speak with the Holy Spirit, God, of course, uh, I kept uh, walking with Him. Sometimes I straight away I kept walking with Him, straight away, uh, stuff like that. You know, it, it's a growing process. It don't come overnight. All right, and uh, I begin to mature in the Lord. Then I start winning soul for the Lord. Do you know they rejected when uh? Uh, they would hear words say, can you be raking in them souls? <laughs> you, do you know they rejected that? No. They say, awesome. We, we're so excited. You went and sold for the kingdom. Not only did you get saved, but you raking them in. Now, these are supposed to be people of God. They're not even happy about souls being one for the kingdom. Trump may write about that. No. We we got to care about we got to first care about our souls, get ourselves right and alignment with uh the will of God, and then and, and then only can we uh be able to uh be in a in a good position to be able to uh care enough to win other people, okay. Um, I don't know. Do you know how to swim? Yeah, I swim uh, pretty good. <laughs> okay. Awesome, awesome. Well, guess what? I can't swim. And 
And this, so that's, this would make a good example, all uh, right? If somebody drowning, what good is it for me to jump in the water to save them and I can't swim? No. What good is it? We both go drown, ain't we? Even if you can swim, you still might, get, might go down with them. <laughs> if they kicking and fighting you, you might go down with them, huh? Yeah. Okay. So, but but my, my point is that I'm certainly not going to be able to help them if, if, if I jump in and I can't swim. We sure enough going to be in trouble, right? So what's the best thing to do in that, in that type of situation? First, I need to go get somebody that can swim. <laughs> you know, I can't help you, baby. I either need to get something I can throw your lifeline. <laughs> Uh, you know, or what you call them things, uh, you know, the, the raft or whatever they call them. <laughs> I don't even know what the tools is called, but you know what I'm talking about. The little thing they put around their way. A life, life preserver, yeah. Life preserver. I have to throw you one of them or you, I have to go get somebody that can swim. One of the two. Otherwise, me jumping in wouldn't be wise at all. Okay. And this is what's happening when people, uh, uh, can't spiritually swim on their own and they and they out trying to uh, deal with an atheist. Uh, they go oh yeah, you have to know what the deal is. You have to know what the issues are to talk to the atheist. And they're, they're not, they already don't want to hear. They might be coming at you, but they don't want to hear anything. You'd be surprised. Some of them do. Uh, some of them, uh, especially here online, you got to understand they are hiding behind gravitars for a reason. Uh, a lot of people are very cowardice. This is why people have gravitated to the internet because they can hide and, and or be somebody that they're not. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can't, you can't lump everybody in the same same thing. You can't call it say they're all, you know, don't want to hear. But but a good majority, a lot of them just don't want to hear. But some of them, you're right. Some of them want to hear. They want to know what the th what the thing issues are, and why we even believe in God. They don't understand why we even believe in God. Uh, some of them already know. Um, they they playing games. Okay, and I was gonna get to that. Uh, they're playing games. What they yeah. do is they see that uh, they get an attention. And if you ever notice when a one atheist does something uh, ridiculous, the other one follows suit or laugh, and you know, it's more come come up come laugh with the type of. Uh, camaraderie. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, camaraderie. Um, the, the camaraderie is, you know, that's what I'm speaking about when, when the the body of Christ, when we come together as one in the spirit and begin to testify and begin to praise God and lift Him up, and we create an atmosphere conducive for faith. All right. So. When I was saying about wooing them, all right? See, they, uh, you know, the devil can woo, woo too, you know? I, I don't yeah. necessarily believe in the devil, but what I mean, there is an attraction to evil as well. When you see people, uh, 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 this is the big attraction to selling drugs. Uh, when, uh, when I was in the street, you know, you see people with uh, big pricey cars, and, you know, all the big walls of money, you know. Uh, and clothes and stuff. Clothes and knew this and knew that. You know, that that was attractive, right? So with it being so attractive, uh, uh, you overlook uh, the, the possibility of, of tend to life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, you, you, you overlook the consequences. Why? Because uh, the pleasures of it or the enjoyment, the temporal enjoyment, uh, is, is, it seems to over outweigh 
out, outweigh the consequences, right? Yeah. So this is what happening with the atheists, all right? They see, man, uh, look how the atheists treated me. With do you know that a lot of these atheists used to be Christians? They claim that, uh, yeah, they claim that a lot. No, some of them ain't lying, and a lot of them ain't lying, and I'll tell you why, because the churches mistreat people. The yeah, churches, that happens. Yeah, I've, that happens. Been, I've been kicked out of over 10 churches. Uh, I say over 10 because I stopped counting that 10, but I consistently have been kicked out of churches for stuff like telling the truth. One church I got kicked out of, I was doing nothing but on my knees kneeling and bowing to God. That's it. They put me out. They told me, ma'am, you got to go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this is a church. So That's what I was saying before. It's a, it's a battlefield. It's a battlefield. Yes. So if they're, be, if they're being treated like this in church, where are they going to go? What yeah. else do they have? We got, we got uh, the internet now. We've got the, uh, uh, we got a uh, online community. We got a gathering anywhere where there's two or three gathered in the name of Christ. Uh, the Lord is there. So I don't know if. I think Candy froze up a little bit. Get up and talk about how faithful I was and how I paid my tithes, even was when I wasn't even able to come to church. I would send my tithes through uh, the mail or even by way of my mother. All right, and so uh, the pastor would get up and brag about and tell other people how, yeah, she paid her sister Johnson pays her tithes, no matter whether she's here or not. She's there, she's there, she's there. She always on time. And da 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 da. And then she put me out. Explain <laughs> that. Explain that. Out of sheer jealousy. Nothing else. Nothing but sheer jealousy. All right. Because people were asking about me. Well, where was Sister the Johnson at? She ain't here. You know, and she felt like, well, hell, I'm here. You know, why do you ask about me? You know, it got a sheer jealousy. Okay. So uh if 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 we can relate to that and understand and think about, well, I can understand. You'll start having more compassion on the atheist and understand and say, I know you've been hurt. I've been there. But that's not the way God intended it. You know, I would love to, Junker, you just don't know. I would love to have a church that I could uh advertise and say anybody who gets put out of their church come here <laughs> you know what i mean are uh, you welcome you know what i mean uh, yeah. because there are a lot of people who have been pushed away from the body and very undeserving uh treatment okay um there was a lady at at the same church i was get, i got kicked out she used to be messy, cause uh, trouble between other people gossiping, cause all kinds of mess between the other sisters, had them out in the parking lot fighting. She didn't put her out. Right. <laughs> That's... She, didn't put, she didn't put her out. Yep. You see what I'm saying? She didn't get put out. I did. The one that didn't do, the cut never caused no problems. Uh, she, she put me out. All right. You see, this is what I'm saying. Now, that person, a person like that, you you might have to, uh, that's what the Bible talks about, it's communicate them because they're causing problems amongst the rest of the body, all right? Yes, you, you do need to excommunicate those kind of people because they cause poison, all right? But uh, there's a lot of people that have been uh, pushed away uh, for stupidity reason. The way they dress or they smoke cigarettes or some stupid thing like that. You cost, I heard you cost me, you know, and stuff like that. 
Well, we have a pretty nice community here online. Uh, there's a, quite a few believers that, that I'm connected with. You can check out my friends list. There's There are a whole bunch of believers that are pretty much, you know, all from all different backgrounds and and experiences and everything. So we uh, online, we have a pretty good uh, community here. And anywhere, anywhere there's a, a gathering of believers in the name of the Lord, Christ is among us. The Lord is among us. That is true, but uh, I don't know which people you're referring to, but Veku don't accept me. <laughs> uh, Remy don't accept me. Uh, Remy called, uh, made a video that I was the Antichrist. Okay, I'm going to tell you how bad it gets. <laughs> but see, this is what I'm talking about, Jungle, how People will do evil things to people for no reason. All right? Yeah. Um, you are the only one that I've talked to uh, that's a believer that didn't X me out just because I said I wasn't a Christian. Okay? So that, that's how crucial it gets amongst the uh, Christian faith or Christian religion. All right? It's crucial like that, and and that's sad. Uh, that is a sad, very sad thing uh, that people will, um, what do you call it, ostracize uh, people because they're not like them, okay? Because see, how are you gonna uh, win souls, uh, people to God, and you, and, 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 and how, how do I explain it? You know, you got to let people in as they are. And let and, and just be patient and love on them and you know welcome them as they are. This is why they go into the to the atheist community, because all they got to do is be ugly and mean and, and wicked and the atheists will love them. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why how that is because there's a lot of people a lot of people like that aren't exactly christians or don't exactly claim to be christians that that are on here all the time you know i don't i don't understand i mean as christians we're supposed to be, be professing to be christians but but a lot of people aren't really sure where they're at or or don't define them as christian uh, themselves as christians or end up fighting getting in fights with christians and stuff mm. so i don't know i don't know why i mean i know veckel veckel you know he, he knows quite a bit about the scripture and uh i don't i don't know exactly what your theological positions are but or anything but but it seems like a, a lot of other people are, are accepted even though they don't exactly claim to be a christian uh yeah um people are very intimidated uh by by my presence for some reason um and and, and i don't know if it's because i channel challenge them to come up a little bit <laughs> uh my grandma used to say that come on up you know in the spirit yeah we understand you a baby in the law but you can't suck on a pacifier for, 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 for 10 years now, you gotta come on up, you know. Um, and so I admonish people to come up a little bit, start loving. And see, uh, they had got mad at me because I was saying that they wasn't walking in love, all right? So they got very busy. But that's, but that's true, that you, you have to walk in love. You well, they were mad about that. Love. They didn't like it, so they started trying to find fault in me. No. <laughs> Because I said they weren't walking in love. Well, oh well, <laughs> oh well. Uh, and and no, I don't want to accept any kind of uh, religious doctrinal beliefs. I love the I love God. It should be very evident that I do. So I don't need you to I don't need you to save me. <laughs> you know they kept trying to save me. Can't you see I'm already saved? Go try to save somebody that ain't saved. You know, go try to save me. Uh, that's annoying. You know, trying to say people already saved, stuff like that. That's crazy. That don't make no sense. Not like trying to uh go to uh, a doctor coming out in the in the world and trying to heal people that ain't shit. You know? Yeah, I, I, 
I don't like it when people ask me crazy questions, like as if I'm an unbeliever or something. You know, that <laughs> it really annoys me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the Lord? Do you know the Lord Jesus as your personal savior and all that kind of stuff? Get the heck out of here! Oh, I was raised in the, in the <laughs> biblical teaching. And... <laughs> I don't. I, did, I, uh, I don't know if you know this jungle, but I've been quoting scriptures back to back since we've been talking. I, right. I just don't say First John three nineteen, Matthew six and four says I don't do that because what what did David said? Thy word have I hidden in my heart uh, that I might not sin against you. I'm not uh, uh, reading the Bible so I can show scriptures at other people. I get the word and, and regurgitate it. I get it inside of me and eat on it so that I can clean candy up. You know, if you don't know, I don't sin against him, so I don't miss the mark. You know, so I got my stuff together. I make sure that I eat on the word. You know, <laughs> and, and that's what the word meditate means. You chew on it. You know, so right. I, I got it in me, so I can live it. What the words? What the Bible says? We living epistles, and it said we go around quoting scriptures. It said live it, live it, be about it. Yeah. Yeah, yep. so this is the reason that they don't like me. Huh? This is the reason they don't like me. They don't have no other reason that they don't like me. All right? It's because uh, uh, I told you, we have to walk in love. That's the bottom line. I don't want to hear no other excuses. I'm not pointing the finger at you. All I'm saying, I'm trying to admonish you to walk in love. If you got a problem with that, do you don't have a problem with candy? You got a problem with the word because it's in your Bible, just like it is mine, right? The Bible says love is the principal thing, huh? That what it said. It said, and then why is it that people want to deliberately look over that scripture, huh? So the so the reaction is that they unlove you. <laughs> Okay. You're telling them to love us so they don't love. Right. That's the reaction. No, Ted, you, you, if you can get them to explain that to, if you can get them to explain that to me, uh, to you, then perhaps you can relay the message to me <laughs> why they're doing it, Sarah. Because uh, I even asked them. Uh, I ch not challenged them, but I, I, I presented the question <laughs> for them to answer. Why are Christians so mean and uh, hateful? All right. And, 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 and when you can explain that. When, when they can explain that to you, perhaps you can. Well, one, one thing is, is that what I think Paul said, is that knowledge puffs up. Exactly. And uh, so you know when you when you learn a bunch of stuff, it makes you makes you think you're, maybe you're something, you know. Mm. And uh, there wasn't there wasn't hard, anybody probably that knew more, understood more than Paul, you know. And he had to watch himself that he wasn't puffed up, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they can't even. Uh... I, I, I would, if I was them, I wouldn't even consider myself as being knowledgeable. I know Greek, Hebrew, and the whole nine things, nine yards. I can quote scriptures off the top of my head for, and break it down to you in the lowest terms. Can neither one of them match up to 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 to, to the knowledge that I have uh, concerning the, the, the scriptures? Now one of them. Not now one of them. <laughs> So if 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 knowledge itself don't don't make me all all prideful, it has to be another element there. It's an element of a lying spirit. That's what it is. Well, this uh, we need each other in the body of Christ. We need each other to to show to show up. Uh, you know our our inconsistencies and, and 
things that you know things that can be I don't know. It's just that the body of Christ, everybody in the body of Christ needs each other because the the gifts to build each other up. Well, and, uh, one thing these guys have, uh, I don't know what your religious belief is, but Velcro has been taught that the woman is beneath him uh, as well. G-Man uh, mentioned that one time. Uh, I think teacher believes that, Remy. Uh, Remy has some kind of weird old strange mm, kind of belief system extra that is like what kind of cult you go to. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know, it's, it's those other little, uh, what do you call that? Doctrine of the different denominations like you was talking about the Calvinism and the difference between that and the Armenians. It's those things those specifics that they have that X people out, okay? So I think it's more so uh, uh, Zeko and G-Man and Teacher and the rest of them, they don't accept me because um, even though I may be telling the truth, right? They don't accept me because I don't go along with a belief, okay? So uh, even if I'm telling the truth, saying what's right, I'm a woman, so it don't count. Yeah, well, that's, it's, I mean, uh, the the men are supposed to take the lead, but that doesn't mean that, that a woman can't say anything. I mean. Yeah, I believe that the men are supposed to take the lead, but it's, you know, look, let me tell you something, baby. I believe in treating men like kings, you know, okay? Uh, I'm old school. And on top of that, uh, God taught me something about the authority that he placed in the man uh, that I honor. I so honor, all right? Uh, uh, but I don't care if you a man or a woman, you ain't finna lead me into nothingness. You know what I mean? If, 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 a, if a man is an atheist, you think I'm going to let him leave me in the hell? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. You know what I mean? So, right doesn't have no gender. It don't have, right, it, right don't have no age. And in Christ, there is no male, female, or exactly. bond, ser bond, servant, free. There is nothing in, like that in Christ. Exactly. You can a child can say something wise that makes you know all the sense in the world. I'm gonna exactly. Listen. I'm gonna. That's listen. exactly right. If it's true, you have to listen to it. It doesn't matter if it's a child that's speaking it. You have to listen to it. Exactly. Exactly. That's why Samuel, uh, when Samuel opposed uh, Eli, you know, you know the story about Samuel and Eli, right? Yeah. So when Samuel opposed Eli, he was a little scared because it was they custom that, you know, they had so much honor for their elders and those in authority and stuff like that. He was tiptoe and kind of, uh, you know, figuratively. Um, to speak to Eli and tell Eli what what, what God had showed him, and because uh, God had showed uh, Samuel that He was gonna punish Eli, so yep. He said, He said, if you don't speak and say what thus saith the Lord, may the same punishment that he, that he what He said be uh, about me may be upon you. He wanted he wanted to know what God says. <laughs> he wanted to know what God said. You know what I mean? He didn't care about that Samuel was a kid. He yeah. needed to hear the truth, right? Right. I think that story is what God uh, 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 allowed that it be placed in the scriptures for that for this very reason. Um, because he knew that people were going to get arrogant, 
and, and they were going to need to refer to the scriptures. You know, there's one verse in that passage that means a whole lot to me. It says, the word of the Lord was rare in those days and visions were infrequent. Wow. It sounds like today, doesn't it? <laughs> Very. Because we, I mean, we're all humans and we keep repeating the same patterns. Uh, people, people say, oh, this world is more wicked these days. No, it's not more wicked. Uh, they had uh, wickedness going on in the day of Sodom and Gomorrah. That was the whole reason why God had to uh, do what he had to do, you know, in a day. Of, because it was wickedness was in abundance. Well, wickedness goes way back, and it goes back very wicked, too. I mean, it's... Yeah, look it's at the awful. beginning. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Cain killed his brother. All right, in the beginning, you know what I mean? In the beginning, in the very beginning, yeah. And so wickedness is not nothing new, and it's no worse than it was. Bible says there's no nothing new under the sun. So it's no worse than it was. It's just uh, we're doing different things to commit sin against one another. It's different, but it's not worse. People been doing evil stuff. Look what David did. Put that man in the front line to be killed <laughs> to get his wife. The thing is that people, uh, apparently people today, they don't either don't want to hear the word of the Lord or they, or God doesn't speak to them. And either way, that's, that's troubling, you know, because, um, yeah. because God, you know, God speaks to everybody, you know, as much as he needs to. Right. But if we don't listen, he's not going to keep on, you know, hammering us, you know. Mm -hmm. But we need to listen to what he, what he does have to say to us, and he does speak to everyone. Yes, he does. He's such a sweetie pie. Um, I, um, I uh, asked him... Uh, this is back in 2003 when he came to me and I asked him, I said, uh, he was telling me some things about my pastor, the one I told you had put me out the church and uh, did me wrong and I hadn't done nothing. Um, he had showed me that she was going to do it before she did it. So when she did it, I went back to him. He said, that's what I was showing you. He said, remember in a dream, this happened, that happened. I said, so it did, you know, it dropped my memory. Uh, yeah, I yeah, had, it does. And uh, so he, he said, and I said, well, Lord, I said, why did people, I said, will you tell me these things? I say, why the, uh, do he, uh, you didn't tell other people these things? He said, I did tell them. They didn't listen. See? So it's just, it's no different than if you got one child that listened to you and the other one rebellious. And you told them both you know, the taught them both the same thing, same principles, same, you know, morals and things of that nature. And then one just decide that they don't want to, you know, comply. You know, and, and that's just how we are. You know, sometimes, you know, yeah. our brothers and sisters don't want a man. <laughs> and that's where we got to just love them. Bible say that the strong up to them yeah, the infirmities of the week. Uh, so I don't, uh, and I want to be clear before we go off air, I want to be clear in saying that just because the people that I named and whoever else is included in that, and I didn't name them, because I don't even know some of them just don't like me or whatever like that. Uh, and stuff, St. Tommy and whoever else. Let me tell you, um, they don't, I said they don't like me, I, or they don't accept me. I'm not reciprocating that, <laughs> you know. Uh, uh, right. I, I would love for us to have prayer and, and worship testimonies where, you know, we can do some exchanges and uh, encourage one another in the Lord and stuff like that. And, let that stuff be in the past, whatever they might be holding on to. Let it go, you know. It's not worth your soul. Let it go, you know. Um, 
and let's grow in the Lord and and take uh the the there we go. I got somebody here. Got uh, Isaiah. Oh, he took off. <laughs> Isaiah was here. Who that? It was Isaiah Sloan. He he popped in. He popped out. No. Uh, he might, maybe he'll be back. I don't know. Yeah. Perhaps his internet uh, might uh, be having a little problem, but um, we don't. Uh, it, at any point. Uh, we can surrender, you know. At yeah. any point, we can surrender, you know. Uh, if you got a warrant out for your arrest, <laughs> and you say, oh, I'm tired of trying to uh, go down the back roads and all that kind of stuff, trying to avoid <laughs> uh, the police and stuff like that. I don't know about you, but I've had some wards out of my arrest. You know? uh, and so I know what it's like to be trying to dodge the police, drive down all the back roads where the police don't want to mm. drive because got potholes everywhere. <laughs> In some some places you don't cut your grass or something, then you put a warrant out for your arrest. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, or just simple things, or a traffic ticket or something. Yeah, right. I had traffic tickets. That far. That's all it was. I, I ain't never been wanted for nothing big, but I've been saying it's still a warrant is a warrant be day after you, you know. Right. And so I would I would drive all down the back roads trying to get other people to drive for me. And, oh, man, I just go through all this other extra stuff to avoid the police. When I could just go turn myself in, spend a night in jail, the next morning, <laughs> you know, full day, they go let me out, you know. And I would do all of that to avoid the police instead of just go fess up, you know. And uh, in the many, in, in, in spend times, uh, especially the last time I had one, so I just said, I give. And I went and turned myself in and stuff and then, People at the police station, they they be so shocked because <laughs> they say, Ooh, you turn yourself in? Because <laughs> that's unusual for people to turn themselves in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so at any time we can turn ourselves in, <laughs> say, Lord, I give. And it's, and if, and it's so good to have peace when you, when you turn yourself over to the Lord and say, you know, I recognize I'm a sinner and that I haven't been doing your will. And and but but just to give your life to God, there's so much peace, mm -hmm. and you can sleep. You can sleep comfortably. You don't have to worry about anything. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is just give yourself to the Lord, mm -hmm. and you and you and everything is covered for. You know, there's there's no. Good reason not to tell the truth or to live the truth. Right. Well, I was referring that to forgiving others as well, okay? Because we hold, it's like lugging around uh, heavy baggage when we don't forgive other people or we try to distance them and all this kind of stuff. You know? Yeah, it's the same thing to forgive somebody because. If you don't forgive your brother, then God won't forgive you. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I don't think people think of it as that. They'll just say, well, we just, I just don't associate with her. Okay? Maybe not the way they think it of They just don't associate with me. <laughs> but they get in them, they get in they, oh, they get in they, uh, hang out. <laughs> and they talk about me, right? So... One time the Holy Spirit, he told me that they were doing that, right? <laughs> so I had told uh, one guy that he goes in, he was he was the two-faced one. He go in there and he come on back over to me and, see, and I'll and see what I'm doing and go back over there and, and, and with him. So I told him, I said, you tell, tell your uh, clan. <laughs> I said, tell your clan that I said, I forgive them. And uh, I know they're talking behind my mouth. I said, but they better watch it, putting their mouth on, on a child of God. And so he said, 
how do what God says? I don't know. Uh, well, I didn't say nothing. I don't know who told you. I said, Baby, don't you know that God is real? What do you mean you don't know who told me? God did. Did, did nobody from your group come and tell me nothing? You didn't have to. God is real. <laughs> I'm going to need you to know that since you're claiming to be a Christian. God is real. And what does he say in, in the Bible? He, the Bible says he's the Jehovah Ra's, the revealer of secrets. Uh-huh. You put that in Isaiah 50. Uh, uh, anyway, it's in there. I know it's in there. I might not quote the scripture, chapter, and verse. But All you have to do is just put it in the uh, the address window and, and push enter, and it'll come out, <laughs> the, the oh. verse. Okay. Yeah. Uh